you want out? Would you like out? Okay, I'm coming. It's cold. <laughs> been up and down but we've been utilizing every good warm day with sunshine that we possibly can Wednesday we knocked out a ton of stuff at the cattle barn um, we got those panels up we hung some gates we built just a lot of stuff over there um, then of course Jason's loading it out hey today I'm playing catch up and going to the chiropractor um, I've irritated my neck quite a bit just doing farm stuff and probably stuff I shouldn't be doing but tis the job tis the way of life so I'm gonna go get that adjusted and then I'm gonna come home I got editing to do some paperwork some just like creative content stuff I need to work on I have a thousand word um, magazine article I need to write do late next week um just a lot of different things revolving around uh the future and everything so i'm really excited about that i'm just sharing our story um you know finance to farmer full-time farmer farm life just all the things so really privileged and honored to uh get to even publish my writing i'm excited Alrighty. Boo. You think you're going to the chiropractor with me? You gonna be good? Sometimes I expect him to answer and he doesn't. There's dad, boo. Yeah, he didn't take you, did he? I think he's got Jake in there. house dog and left Ryder with me today. I'm going to go take care of cows, feed the two bottle calves at the farm, and then um, come back. I got a bunch of stuff I'm going to do. And then I also want to try to get, the ground's pretty frozen. Um, I'm hauling my ponies over either today or tomorrow. Probably be better today only because I think it's going to be warmer this afternoon for the semi to run over there. A lot of you guys have asked about the semi and me. I do not have my CDL. Uh, Jason and his parents both do, of course, because they were over the road truckers. Well, John's still on the road. Um, but they have their CDL. I do not. So I just run farm, um, farm lobes. So I stay within a certain mileage due to our regulations in the state and whatever. So as long as I'm on farm plates doing farm things, I fall into that category of farmer. Um, I do not need my CDL. A lot of you guys have asked about that. Um, see what other questions I really should pull up my question box um, in the comments because I'm really I want to answer your questions but I forget because I've already answered them I'd like type them out and reply to you guys um, the Hereford bulls we still have them um, we've contemplated selling Ranger he's just not holding out with what we're like looking for um, so we have red Ranger and then of course we have cash and then we have that junior bull King uh, we bought at the Central State Cell in Lebanon in November. So we've just been slowly building our um, Black Hereford genetics up. It does take time. Um, you, we could sell all our herd and then buy back, but at the same time, um, if we did that, you would not ha we wouldn't have the numbers. Like to sell all our herd and buy back is just, it, the cash flow isn't there right now. So we have obviously got registered stock and the commercial stock, and I'm really excited about where, where we're headed in the future. Obviously, it takes time. Cows 
take time. They're not a quick return type thing unless you're doing feeders in like a feedlot setting and even then it can kind of be wishy-washy. Um, that's not our end goal. It's never been our end goal to have feeders. Um, it's always been my personal end goal to make replacement heifers. So we're, we're on the way. Um, I can't remember what the tally is between the heifers and the bulls because at one time the heifers like were dominating and I was starting to like stress because uh, I can't keep all of them back for my own herd. We'll probably only pick a good handful to replace some. We are going to call out some. Those two crazy ones that like to eat us, 21 and 39, we're going to go. There's a couple other older cows that we'll probably call out as well. So we're only going to keep a replay cup, like a handful of replacements out of this crop for ourselves. Um, the rest of them will obviously be sold um, at weanling age or replacement stage or just kind of we'll see how to kind of play it by ear from there. A lot of different moving parts. That's where we're at. We have one cute little oddball snowball. It's the cutest little thing ever. So cute. There's a lot of traffic today on my road. A lot of people I don't know. vehicles at once on the gravel and it's not my road it's just the road going to the farm so Let's see what else is happening a lot of you guys have commented about the Hereford calves um, the bulls are low birth weight bulls like we've ran the numbers it's obviously a handful of them and we pulled the numbers off the cows or the heifers that had those bigger cows it's coming from the dam side it's coming from the female side of lineage um, those herford bulls have been really consistent with their weights with their birth just overall we're very pleased about the whole two bulls that we have and everything like just very very pleased but very excited about what cash is going to bring in to um the play for the 2023 calving crop that will be their breeding season. I wouldn't say calving crop because it'll be 2024, but really excited about seeing how many come out of cash. Uh, we did take him to draw semen last week and this week. Last week we got 125 straws, roughly, and then I don't I don't know what today or yesterday is going to breed as of yet. The whole idea behind um, AIing and getting his straws available not only for us but through cattle visions um, i'll let you guys kind of know that process as it goes through um, but we will be offering his semen on cattle visions he will be the first black herford semen available through them so we're really excited to partner and work with cattle visions um, that's where jason and i went to ai school so if you guys have questions i do have a channel um, i will link um, both jacob and eric's information in the description below you can reach out to them if you have questions about semen ai all the things revolving around um, that whole aspect of cattle breeding so very excited about them we do we do have a partnership with them because we um, take hay over there for them as well so it's kind of a it's definitely a hand in hand which is really really nice for us um let's see what else is happening grass is greening up the alfalfa is coming that we planted in the fall. It looks really good. Um, the oats are starting to kind of pop through. You can almost row them now. And I've talked for five minutes all the way over here. I know how much you guys love that. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, that's where we're at. Hope you guys are having fun tagging along. I appreciate you guys. I love seeing the comments, the likes, the shares, the hearts. Um, you guys are awesome. Thanks for being so supportive. We are almost to that 20,000 mark, which just blows my mind. Just crazy for me. Um, I am definitely ready for summer hay season to get here. I am ready. I am tired of wearing coats and hoodies and being cold. And I am just ready for hay season. So, with furthermore, let's go feed the babies and uh, head to the Cairo. kind of hinted on this a little bit in yesterday's video um, but this is what we've been working on and I'm bad I don't always take the camera with me and it's just the way it is um, we've been getting John's been hauling us 
gravel and rock over here and just working on getting this all lined out. Um, Wednesday, that's what Jason and I worked on. Obviously, we still have a lot to do, but it is, it's coming together, guys. So freaking nice. Look at this. Like, I can drive right up to the barn now. Like, I could drive into the barn, but we're not going to. I was just really wanting to show you guys how well this looks. Hey, do you want out? Would you like out? Okay, I'm coming. Ah, it's breezy over here. The bottle babies are crying. Okay. So, this is what we did. I mean, there's pinch gates. We sell all this on John's Farm Supply. You guys can look him up. He's on... He's got his own page on Facebook. He's got um, his own website and all that. We do carry the Go Bob panels, um, the feeders, and all that fun stuff. Fencing supply store. Get all my gear out here. Okay. <sighs> through this pen because cash is out of here and I need to bring over a pitchfork and a wheelbarrow and clean out the poop and then I'm gonna bring the horses over and uh, obviously we are doing this barn ourselves so it's taking us a little bit of more time than if somebody would have came and built it for us but it's one thing when you you can I don't know Jason and I are really excited about this it's something to see when you do it yourself, is it perfect? Absolutely not. There's some holes in the roof. Who cares? I'm just excited about the barn, okay? So our alleyway has got concrete on it. You guys see us pour it. If you missed all that, go back to the barn construction video. Um, we do have the WW stuff over here for now. We've kind of made a bud box and uh, left out the tub gate. So far, it's proven to work really nice for us. And then we've got a makeshift pen for the first set of bottle babies. Okay, boys, as you're hungry, let's get you fed. Bet you already sucked yours down. You already had to. You guys are a mess. Okay, boo! Let's go! We're gonna go check the mamas. See if we have anybody new. We only have like a dozen left, I think. For, uh, on the home stretch. Cabin season. Boy, is it brisk and windy.
That's why you guys are all standing down here. Because all the children are down here. Yeah. Hi, Mom. Don't mind some very dirty booties, but they are going to the farm today. Aren't you? Yes. Aren't you? I'm so happy. Yes, I am. Yes. Are you excited to go to the farm? I love you. Spring might just be here, guys. Look at the hair flying. I just need a good bath. All in time. He loves me. I gotta come over and clean up uh, cow poop tomorrow. What do you think, Leo? You know, cleaning up all the scraps? Are you tired of waiting on me? Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Can you tell everybody good morning? Say hi. No? Good morning and happy Tuesday. Hopefully the radio's not going to blare. Uh, it did, even though I hit it off. Uh, totally lost my train of thought. Happy Tuesday. Uh, Ryder and I are headed down. We got bottle babies to feed and tend to um, go to the farm. We had three new babies yesterday. Jason is sick again. So, I'm not entirely sure uh, what today's going to hold. I do need to try to get his semi in to the shop for him. That was his one request that it's supposed to rain the rest of the week. So, we just want to try to get that in. So, uh, we may try to do that. We'll see. I do need to go check cows. I need to chore. I have a lot on my to-do list. And it's just been one of those, like, just what it is. So, um... I think I was just telling on Instagram, but I've taken so much time off this winter. Like, not just time videoing or being on social media, just like time off. I desperately needed that time. I've been reading a lot. I've been working on healing myself, taking time to just enjoy life because I know our busy season, and not that we're not busy with calving season, but like we're on the downhill slope. I mean, there's like less than a dozen left. Our busy season is about to hit. Are you guys even in focus? I am so sorry. Um, our busiest season is 60 days away. So the next six months, roughly. May, June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, six months, roughly. And uh, I have just been taking that time. I've been spending more time with the kids as much as I can. Mondays, they're off from school. So... We try really hard, unless we really have to be physically working and doing something, we take the day off. Um, yesterday we did stuff. Jason is sick. Bless his heart. He's been sick a lot this winter, so I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on with him. Other than I feel like he's just finally, life is just catching up to him. And maybe the 30s are hitting us harder than we, um, we anticipated. Ah, uh, let's see. Ryder and I are over at the cattle barn here. Let me just flip you around so you guys can see. Leo's peeking his head over the fence line. Isn't he so cute? Uh, we brought them over the other day. Uh, we worked so hard to get this alley set up, set panels up, got the ups and overs done. There's a gate there. I pretty much just drive myself in. Oh, and Shiloh says, why are you not feeding me yet? And Teddy and Bex are crying their little heads off. Oh, my coat fell. I will more than likely need that by the end of the day. But 
let's see um got that worked on we still have a bunch more panels and fencing to set up one thing at a time i fed the two bottle calves at home so now we'll take care of the ones here see if i can carry you all talk probably not oh maybe might be able to Babies, hello, hello, hello. Good morning, Leo. Good morning. I'll feed you guys in just a minute. Good morning, baby girl. So the whole goal when we get everything said and done over here is the horses will actually have pins and the runs over here so that we can ride them so much easier. Um, that's one of the goals on my Hello babies, are you hungry? Everybody's hungry this morning, aren't you? Um, I do have a cow and a calf over there. We had a breached baby when we came over and checked cows and fed on Sunday. I am so sorry I could not get that on film. We literally brought the cows three paddocks from over there on the other side of the, that tree line right there. Brought her over here. We were in, out, and done with that calf in 20 minutes. It was a fast pace, <laughs> very on the go but baby's doing great mom's doing great we'll actually turn them out in a couple days and let's feed these guys 